Let's see if you're going to be amongst the people that are going to get this simple math problem right because a lot of people are going to get it wrong. All right, now we're not going to use a calculator, but here is the question. We have 8 divided by 2, parentheses, 1 plus 3, parentheses. All right, now if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem and why so many people will get it wrong. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once more, here is the problem. 8 divided by 2, parentheses, 1 plus 3. What is the answer? So let's take a look at two ways to do this problem. Now, one of these ways is right and one is wrong, but uh, there is even an additional twist. I'll hold off on telling you what that is, but just take a quick second and take a look at this work because if you really understand basic math, you should be able to quickly identify the wrong answer. All right, so is the right answer one or is the right answer 16? Okay, so over here we have uh, 8 divided by 2. Now this 2 outside of this parentheses means multiplication. So we have 8 divided by 2, parentheses 1 plus 3. So it looks like someone uh, took this 8 divided by 2, that's 4. Then we have 1 plus 3, that's 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. That seems pretty good. Now over here, someone went, well, 1 plus 3, that's 4. And then 2 times 4, that's 8. So we here... We have 8 divided by 8, which is 1. So both of these answers seems logical, right? So both seem like uh, pretty good candidates. However, one is wrong and one is right. Okay, so what do you think? Is 1 the right answer or is 16 the right answer? Well, if you pick 16, indeed you would be right. All right, so 16 is the correct answer. Unfortunately, the little uh, sad face goes right here and our happy face goes with 16. But this twist that I'm talking about is that this problem is not really done fully correct. Okay, I'll explain this in just one second. This is the right answer, but we need to review the steps to get to the correct solution. Now, one could very well be the most common wrong answer, and I'll explain why this is wrong in just one second. But uh, anyways, don't feel so bad if you got one as your answer. All right, so let's go ahead and explain exactly why 16 is the correct solution. So the number one reason why people will either get this problem right or wrong has to do with something called the order of operations. So in mathematics, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and powers, these are called mathematical operations. And we have to do a problem that has multiple operations in it, like this problem. We have division, uh, multiplication, parentheses, and addition. If we don't do this problem in a precise, specific order, we will get the wrong answer. All right, so what tells us the correct order to do this problem? Well, that brings me to this little phrase right here called PEMDAS. All right, so this is an acronym, but really it's a checklist that goes from left to right that will tell us the exact order to do this problem. Now, before I tell you what these letters stand for, I'm going to give you a little memory aid here. So that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, this phrase has been around forever, but if you never heard it, well, hopefully now you will always remember PEMDAS because this is critically important in mathematics. All right, so again, this is a checklist that goes from left to right. And we want to start with the first letter here. So that is P. Now that stands for parentheses, but really this is grouping symbols. So you can think of brackets like this or these type of squiggly brackets, anything, uh, anything that groups numbers together. Now, of course, we have some parentheses right here. So that will be the first thing that we will be doing, but I'll get to that in just one second. Now, if your problem happens to have some parentheses and then a bracket on the outside, the way this uh, works is you will go to the innermost parentheses first and then work your way out from there. All right, now, not every math problem will have parentheses, but if it does, 
that's where you need to start. Okay, so now this brings us on to E, which stands for exponents. So what is that? Well, when you have a power, this little small number to the top right is called the exponent. So the two down here is called the base, of course, two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. Of course, the answer is eight. So if you have any powers or exponents, this is what you will do next. Now, again, not every problem will have uh, powers and exponents, but if it does, you'll do it right after parentheses. Okay, so now this brings us on to M-D-A-N-S. Okay, now what does M stand for? Well, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, what I'm going to tell you is probably one of the most confused things in basic mathematics. Now, most people uh, generally understand PEMDAS, so they're working the checklist from left to right. So they say, okay, parentheses, E's, uh, powers, or exponents. So they think that the next thing to do is all multiplication. Well, this is not the way PEMDAS works. M and D is actually a group. So you're going to do any multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So if you have multiplication, then division, you're going to go in this order. If you have division and then multiplication, you will go in this order. So you have to be really careful when it comes to PEMDAS. And here we actually have division and multiplication. Okay, so that's why it's going to be really important to do this problem one step at a time. Now, when you're done with all multiplication and division, you'll move on to any addition and subtraction. Okay, so let's apply this uh, PEMDAS checklist to this problem so we can see how we get the right answer. Now, before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. All right, so we're gonna do this problem one step at a time and we're always going to be referencing our PEMDAS checklist. Okay, so again, we're going to go from left to right. All right, so we're going to start with P. So do we have any parentheses? Well, of course we do. So that means we need to go inside of the parentheses and take care of all this math first. So that means we have 8 divided by 2 times. Now, right here, we have 1 plus 3, so we're going to write a 4. Now, notice that I just kind of rewrote the entire problem, but I just took one step. Now, at this point, you might be saying, hey, are we done with parentheses? Because we still have parentheses. Well, the P, this grouping symbol, means uh, if there's any mathematical operations inside of the parentheses, do that. Now, in here, we actually just have one number, so we're pretty much done with parentheses. Okay, so what do we have here now? Well, actually, we have division, and this is multiplication. All right, so we have eight divided by two times four. Okay, so let's just continue to work our PEMDAS checklist and move on to the next thing. So do we have any E or exponents or powers? Well, no, we do not have any powers. So do we have any multiplication and division? Well, of course we do. We have division and multiplication. So what do we see first from left to right? Well, we see division first, not multiplication. And this is where a lot of people made a mistake. Okay, so now we have to actually divide uh, 8 divided by 2. This is what we have to do next. All right, so 8 divided by 2 is what? Well, that is 4. So this leaves us with 4 times 4, which, of course, is 16, which is our right answer. Okay, so this is how 
you do this problem. And the number one error that people will make in a problem like this is to do the multiplication before the division because you can see this is going to give us a completely different answer. So if we do the multiplication first, we're going to end up with 8 divided by 8, which of course is 1. And this is wrong because 16 is right. Now let's go back up here to this problem. And although we have the correct answer 16, what we didn't do uh, right here is the parentheses first. Now it just happened to be that this uh, worked out for us, but we did do the division, so that is 4. And then we did the parentheses uh, next. Now you're not supposed to do that, but in this particular uh, case, it worked out. All right, so technically, again, you will always want to do the parentheses first, so that would be 4. And then the division right here, so 8 divided by 2 would be 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. And don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I can tell you right now, as a math teacher that has been teaching for several decades, this is a very common misunderstanding. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these courses right here. One would be my Math Foundations course. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. That's a quick review of basic mathematics to include things like uh, percent, decimals, fractions, etc., etc. Now, if you uh, want to relearn basic math plus algebra and geometry, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, that's a great overview of high school level mathematics to include basic math. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.